Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to embark on another journey into the unpleasant in order to discuss the concept of hate. Hate is a very, very strong word, generally fueled by a raw emotional response. And One Piece being a series that has almost literally everything in the world, does have some characters who may or may not warrant such a word. But before we go any further, I'd like to point out that this video is a sequel. So please do check out the original top five hated characters in One Piece video, a pinned link to which will be placed in the comments section below. However, the criteria for this list is as follows. When measuring hate, I will be using the ever so scientific gauge of anecdotal knowledge. So the characters on this list today aren't necessarily ones that I hate, but rather ones that seem to generate such an emotion from the very vocal fan base. Furthermore, all characters on this list must be canon because filler characters in particular are incapable of emotions such as hate due to their poor writing and animation. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to another top five hated characters in One Piece. Number five, Foxy. So a lot of people were slightly upset that Foxy did not make the original list. And to be perfectly honest, it's because I quite like the guy, at least in the manga anyway. But I think that's exactly the problem here. In the manga, Foxy was dealt with in a reasonable short dose. Whereas in the anime, the Long Ring Long Land arc was extended far beyond what it should have. And Foxy just kept coming back again and again and another time even. For those of you who suffered through the anime, I entirely understand why Foxy may be a source of such hate, as he was the figurehead seemingly torturing you with pointless game after pointless game, which was particularly bad because you'd just come from another filler arc. Basically, Foxy in the anime majorly outstayed his welcome and left a very bad taste in the mouth of anime fans. Furthermore, even if you can get past all the filler, I can't deny that there are certain characters of Foxy's personality that people may simply just find annoying, like his laugh, for example, or another detracting fact it might just be his overall design, which I find quite quirky, but hey, it would seem that in this case, the fans have spoken. Number four, Hody Jones. Now, whenever the title of one of my videos contains something negative, I'd say there's a good chance that you'll see this fishman there. And today is obviously no exception because the hate for Hody Jones stems from the very simple fact that he is just a poor, poor villain. And just to clarify, generally, yes, a villain is written to be unlikable like say Crocodile. He is designed to antagonize characters you enjoy, thus creating a sense of dislike. However, with all good villains comes a decent sense of respect for their abilities, plans, and even design. And Hody lacked essentially all of those redeeming features. His abilities were met at best, his plans were horrendous, and his design is arguably just fat Arlong. And with all of those redeeming qualities gone, all that the readers and watchers really have left are stock standard antagonistic traits inserted by the author to make the villain unlikable. But without the redeeming features, Hody didn't just stay unlikable he became hated, particularly because he had a massive arc to carry on his fishy shoulders and he just couldn't live up to it. And yeah, the argument can be made that Hody is underappreciated because he represents the issue of racism, the irrational nature of which is embodied within him. But at the same time, yeah, Along already did that and he did it very well. And so Hody will remain a source of general hate within the fan base. Number three. Treble. Here's an example of a character who seems to be the dictionary definition of irritating. He starts out with a less than great design, primarily characterized by perpetually dripping snot coming from not just one, but both nostrils. So there's already a gross factor which will automatically turn some people off. But you know what though, that's fine because Oda can do amazing things with initially unappealing characters. But I guess in this case, he just he kind of forgot to do those things with Treble. Instead, Treble's role during the Dressrosa arc is seemingly to annoy. Not even to annoy the characters in the series, but more to annoy the readers actually. And this only gets worse once we get into the anime and Treble was assigned an appropriately irritating voice, you know, new Duffy, and so on and so forth. And it really doesn't help that he served no real purpose during Dressrosa. I honestly believe that we could remove Treble from the entire arc and everything would still function exactly as it did. Instead, the reality we live in is 118 episodes of new Duffy. Number two. Momonosuke. Sadly, Momonosuke was pretty much destined to be on this list due entirely to the fact that he is a child character. Kids do not have a great rap in media because they can generally be one of two things, either a completely useless drag on the main characters or an incredibly useful asset, but with a sense of arrogance well beyond their years. And Momonosuke kind of fits both of those descriptions. He is an incredibly stubborn yet wildly useless child. And to top everything off, he's also an incredible pervert. And that last part right there is the core reason why Momonosuke 
Sasuke has risen so far in terms of notoriety amongst certain fans. Some of this stems from a sense of protectiveness, like a how could you possibly demean Robin like that sort of way? Which in all fairness is a comment that should probably be directed at Oda instead. But the sad reality is that an awful lot of it comes down to a twisted sense of jealousy. As if Momonosuke is achieving something that for many, many reasons, those fans will never be able to do. So hopefully Momonosuke comes to redeem himself during the Wano arc, but as things currently stand, I'm afraid you're just a little bit unwelcome amongst the One Piece fan base. However, we still have one more supremely unpopular character left to cover. Number one, Charlotte Flampe. As a relatively recent addition to the series, Flampe burst into action during the tail end of Whole Cake Island and immediately became a target of hatred. Now, to begin with, everything I said about child characters previously also absolutely applies here. Flampe is an annoying, whiny, and shallow-minded creature that we in the real world refer to as a teenager. At the same time, if that's all there was to Flampe, then I don't think she would have generated such hatred. However, Flampe was unfortunate enough to be acting like a teenager in the wrong place at the very wrong time, as she was responsible for interrupting the fight between Luffy and Katakuri at an incredibly integral moment. And furthermore, she then immediately turned on her idol Katakuri when he revealed his true self and even spat directly in his face just to seal the deal in terms of the eternal loathing for her amongst readers and watchers alike. In essence, Flampe kind of captures a large majority of the features possessed by the other four characters on this list. She's an annoying, antagonistically flat child whose appearance in a handful of chapters led her to such great levels of despise amongst fans However, looking at things in a more positive light, it did earn her the number one spot on this list. And that pretty much does it for another top five hated characters in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your own hated characters in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.